Hey guys, so it's time here to do a quick little review here of the latest updates here uh, on the iPhone 5S that you can see uh, over here uh, with the latest iOS 7 beta. So if I just put it down first, we can see, do you still see that kind of like scrolling thing? Uh, still pretty hard to see it, I think. Hmm. Uh, you, it's very, very hard to see if it's putting down still or if it's putting up. It could be uh, here as that I did see here that they have speeded it up a little bit, uh, which definitely is a nice little thing. Okay, this is interesting. When we are putting up, it kind of goes a little bit dark. Hmm. I've never seen that before. Oh wait a sec, is that just because for some reason it have, oh that's down, I'm not sure why. Uh, so uh, I've already been checking out the top things about this update, uh, me personally, what I think. Uh, so uh, I also heard that they fixed the shift button here on the keyboard, I haven't had a problem with it, I couldn't see uh, the update. Uh, so one of the things here of course is the power down button or the tech, the thing here that slides across is a little bit different than in the earlier version uh, in beta 3. Uh, it's also different here on the lock screen, which is pretty cool uh, down here. I'm also just gonna show you one pretty quick thing here. Wait a sec. So I kind of did discover a thing here uh, and that is that it looks pretty interesting when you take out something over here or get something over here, let's see. Oh, wait a sec. Ah, uh, that sucks, I didn't, I didn't even have a card inside here. But if I would uh, input a card inside of this one, uh, it would look, let's see here, I do have a card here, so I'm just going to put it out. this as you see I gotta say that looks pretty interesting I'm not sure why but that's pretty random so that is my iPhone 5 in case you wonder the color over there so that is uh, one of the new additions here. Uh, we have a new voice gender, which I can't review uh, in uh, Siri in UK because I don't have an iPad. It only seems to be available for the iPad. Uh, speed, better performance overall. Um, this is what I've seen. Uh, I didn't really notice a super big difference because I was already used to uh, a pretty great experience actually. So, uh, and of course this is the latest iPhone. 64 bits, so you shouldn't really have any issues. Uh, we do have some bug fixes also in the background. Uh, this photos, um, this little thing here, uh, the photos app should have a new icon uh, from what I've seen actually uh, on, uh, on some other devices from what I've read, but I can't see it actually. And uh, maybe it depends uh, on where you live or something. Because I, I just can't find it. Uh, the new dialer, or at least I think it's a new dialer. I might be wrong about this, but when you tap up here, uh, it just goes to new contact immediately. Okay, wait a sec. Let's try to add that one. Ah, okay, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Okay, so uh, I was thinking that they were removing, uh, let's see, uh, add to existing contact, but it was just because 
It was used because it was used because they didn't have any contacts. You probably don't even know what I'm talking about right now. Uh, but it's a very, very small update. Uh, the big thing, of course, is those things, the power, power menu and, and the lock screen. Uh, so uh, yeah, just quickly look here. I've been checking out also in other videos. Uh, but yeah, this is only 5S. Peace out.